Open Heavens on the Go, Sunday, August 6th, 2023. Topic, Increase Your Spiritual Capacity, Part 2. Memory Verse, Galatians 5.17 For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Bible reading, Romans 8, 1 to 13. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For they that are after the flesh, do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace, because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man hath not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit, do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. The Message We learned yesterday about the importance of increasing our spiritual capacity and a bit about how to go about this. Today, we will go a bit deeper in discussing how to increase our spiritual capacity. The main goal in increasing our spiritual capacity is to be more spiritually minded, to be more like Jesus and less like our default human nature. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. Romans 8, 9. The first thing you must do is to surrender your life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, be baptized by immersion, signify your death to the flesh, and a new life in Jesus. After this, you seek to be baptized in the Holy Spirit and invite him to dwell in you and take control of your life. Once the above steps are taken, you must begin to do less of the things your flesh wants you to do. Don't let your flesh control you. You cannot be spending all your free time on social media, attending parties, or eating as often as you like. If you give your flesh everything it asks for, 
you will remain under its control and this can only lead to eternal damnation. Paul said in Acts 17, 28, that it is in Jesus that we believers live, move, and have our being. That must be your testimony too. You also need the Holy Spirit to keep the flesh under control. You are not strong enough to deal with the flesh by yourself. Romans 8, 13. To continue to grow your spiritual capacity, you must truly pray without ceasing, as 1 Thessalonians 5.17 says. If you are not willing to pray consistently and fervently at all times, you are not yet willing to increase your spiritual capacity. When you cannot pray in understanding, switch to praying in the Spirit. Fasting and studying the Word of God daily must also become your lifestyle. Jeremiah 15, 16. You must also seek to hear God at all times. Ask Him questions about things you don't understand in the Scriptures. These steps may appear simple and straightforward, but many people find it difficult to do them consistently. Reflection Are you increasing your spiritual capacity? Bible reading in one year, Jeremiah 9-11 to Him for today, in Christ alone. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.